Hi guys, good evening. Hi teacher, good evening. Hi David, good evening. Hi Sadi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? Good, and you? How's everything? Fine, fine. It's a very quiet, very quiet day. Oh, okay. Why? It's my day off. Oh, it's your day off. Yay. So you're home. That's good. Yep. I'm at home. Resting. Nice. David, I, w I have a question for you. By any chance, were you able to record the class for yesterday? I'm sorry, yesterday I didn't connect her to the, to the class. class. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. I thought, okay, I maybe it's Eduardo or Eliezer that I, I was confusing. Okay, because I need the recording for that class. Hi, Iris, good evening. Hello, good evening, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good, I have a quick question for you. Did you happen to record yesterday's class by any chance? No, no. I got into, not a serious problem, but what happened is that for some reason it locked me off and when I came back, the, the class was not being recorded. So I don't want to repeat, I don't want to repeat the class. So that's what I was asking. Yes, no, no, I don't record it. But now you are recording. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm recording. What happened is that yesterday, for some reason, when I ended the class, it didn't record. So it's like, oh no, I need to record the class. You know, I was like, so I was wondering if some some of you had recorded by any chance. But I'm recording right now. But I don't know what happened at the end with Zoom. It for some because I have to upload it to the list, and so but I reported it already. So don't worry. It's just that I don't know. Never happened before. It was actually the first time. So, but for Insafarp, if there's not, like if we don't have this class, like yesterday's class, it didn't exist. Uh, there's okay. like no way for them to know that we actually had a class. So we yes. need to have 16 class uploaded. So I don't know. Okay. So we'll see how we resolve that. We don't worry, yes. okay? <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, maybe on Friday we can have and like the an class. extra session. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking about that. I'm just going to wait to see on on the answer from Inglés Corporativo. And depending on that, I'll let you guys know if we're going to have an extra. Or we can have that extra class on Friday. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. Well, guys, um, just to get started, I want to show you guys something. Because this is the first activity I want you guys to do. So mm -hmm. this is just an example. Okay, and we're, I want you to come up with a phrase that has two words, okay? And this activity is called impromptu speaking, meaning that you have, you're gonna have like one or two minutes to talk about a phrase. But this phrase has to be a two word phrase. So like this one, like think twice, hakuna matata, be happy, have faith, um, take risks, take chances, silence, heal. So it has to be a phrase. So I want you to, I'll give you like a couple of minutes just for you to look up for one phrase or if you already have it in mind. And I want you to talk for at least one minute about this phrase and why you picked this phrase. So for example, let's say Hakuna Matata. Do you know what Hakuna Matata is, by the way? Oh, I... I don't remember literally, but I think it's like a, be happy. Yeah, <laughs> it means don't worry. Uh -huh. it, it means like don't worry. Be free, be happy. Uh -huh. So then you would have to speak for, for one minute, explaining why you don't have to worry and then elaborate, just being spontaneous. So, but you don't have okay. to pick, these are my example, like the ones that I'm showing you on the screen are my example. So what I want you to do, is I want you to come up with your own examples and I want you to talk about them for one minute. One minute. <laughs> Try, you can do it. I know you can do it. Okay. 
there's one so pick minute. I know one minute. So pick a phrase or pick I'm I'm I stopped sharing. Those were my examples. But I want you to pick one. I want you to use one, pick a phrase from Google, or just look it up and say that it has needs to have two words in it. Okay, think big or be creative or think twice. So something that it's compound and talk about it for one minute. I'll give like you just a couple minutes for you to one. look at it. Okay. I have one, I think. Okay. And uh, if you have the phrase, you can share it on the screen too. You can actually share your screen so we can see it. If, if you're using the device that actually can share. Mm -hmm. uh, the one we use an um, image. Say, say that again. Hmm. Are you ready? Who's ready? Uh, me. me. Oh, okay. Are you going to share your screen? Well, it's just a uh, image of the word, no? Oh, okay. Okay, like the one I was sharing. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fatima, whenever you're ready. Keep calm. Uh-huh. Uh, I think that we need to use this frequent, frequent with high frequency in our life because all the things that we have to do, uh, now and in the future for all for that like uh, when you play different roles like um, employee mother daughter so they they you have a lot of things to do when you play um when you play many roles in your life, like when your boss um, is asking you for something that he already um, asked you for that, but he needs it right now, so you just keep calm and work, keep calm and and seek whatever he wants uh, the same thing with your family with your kids when they uh, i don't know how do you say uh, <laughs> uh, but when they get angry for something that you don't have to give us but they they want it so you have to keep calm and stay with your statement and in, in this situation right now in, in the country we just have to keep, keep calm and believing god that all the things going to have a uh, going to pass and Keep in mind and do what? Nice, very good. That was more than one minute. That was actually like three minutes. Oy, good job. No. Yay. <laughs> See? You were very inspired. That was very good. Um actually so how do you how do you guys think it's called when a kid um tries to get a parent's attention but in a bad way? How do you think that it's called? Anybody has an, an idea? I don't know no. the, the answer. Um, how do you say, how do you say, so you asked, how do you say berrinche? Mm -hmm. So that's when a kid tries to get your attention, but in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you say, how do you think you say that in English? How do you say that 
when kids do that, when somebody's doing something to get people's attention. I don't know. It's, mm. it's, there's like a no way, okay, there's not a specific word for berrinche, but it's in a way called like, it's um, show off a negative attitude or show off an, an inappropriate attitude. Like there's a word in English for berrinche, but you could sim, um, assimilate it or simulate it with showing off in a negative or bad way, you know, or bad um, circumstance per se. But if you have another word, that would be great. We can look it up as well. And when they say, uh, don't like whine, whining, I think. Oh, but whining is like, yeah, 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 yeah. like doing ah, okay. that. That's to whine. Okay. Like yeah. whenever you're like, like, oh my God, it's, it's very hot. And, uh, yeah. Or, uh huh. Like complaining. Exactly. Okay. Like complaining. But like for Berinche, I'll look it up, but there's like not a specific call, a word for it. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Similar to showing off in a showing off a, a bad behavior. Okay. Okay. The range is like very. It's like like <laughs> Salvador. Very <laughs> us. <laughs> like very us. Yes. Okay. Who's next? Who's going next? Well, a phrase that that I really really like is one day at a time. Okay. Because I think uh, sometimes we get anxious, anxious for anxious for for the next day or for the future, and um, you have to live one day at a time mm -hmm. because you are worried about everything and you don't enjoy and. Um, And enjoy the things that that happens in the day that you are living the present. And that's it. Almost a minute. Oh, I'm just timing. Almost, Almost a minute. A minute. <laughs> so I think that, and and because you don't know, life is too short. So you have to live uh, the, the present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> That's it. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, one, one at a time. What happens sometimes is that uh, when elaborating, and this will help you out guys a lot, whenever you speak, try to give as many details as possible and ex uh, exemplify, meaning okay. that you have to set up examples example da, 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 da. and so you're saying something not only like the like the content or the context or mm -hmm. or the definition or your opinion but give examples that way people will understand better because we go a lot by pictures and examples and okay i guess it's it's, it's a cultural uh, i would say it's it's very cultural we go by example and we'll say for example or by you know for example and we always go and say examples just to make sure and to extend what you're trying to say. Yeah. So I will help you all the time. So the more examples you give, the better, the better for you. Okay. Um, um, I wanted to share with you something I found, but I don't think it's similar. I had that. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to show you. Okay, this is a word I found. It's very similar to showing off. It's but this I want to I want to spe specify the difference. A berrinche sometimes doesn't go with anger. A tantrum. It's a very similar example to we're talking about berrinche before. So it's temper tantrum are unpleasant and disruptive behaviors or emotional outbursts. But these are what we call ataques de ira. So not necessarily every berrinche, but it's very similar. Just for you to see that there's not like a word. Because sometimes berrinches are not really related with um, like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, with anger or like they're just trying to yeah. call attention or call you out to get, get your attention. If I call it five minute fame. I tell my kids, oh no, really look at that kid. That's a five minute, you know, uh -huh. he wants to be a five minute, I call him five minute fame. 
and, and whenever you know a kid's trying to get an, an adult's attention by doing something that he's not supposed to but in the in the, along the way he doesn't really know right so it's very similar the, the, the difference is that in this one it's this one it's it carries along a, a negative aspects okay so tantrums that's a that's the word i was i was going to share okay. with you tantrum tantrums mm -hmm. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, so we have missing David, we have Ricardo, and we have Wilbert, Marisol. Who's going next? Sadie? Who's going next? Who's going next? Bea? Have her fed. Okay. Ricardo. Yeah, I, I just want to understand what do we have to do? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. So um, we have you have to come up with the, your favorite two word phrase and talk about it for one minute. For example, like this one, like think twice, hakuna matata, be happy. Like if there's like a specific phrase you have or one that you like the most, but it's in a, in a two word phrase and talk about it for like a minute. And pick okay. one. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Um, I'm, I'm ready. Just give me one second, please. Okay, Sari. <clears throat> Who's going to do it? It's up to you guys. It, it could be you okay. or it could be stuff. Go for it. Okay, I can you watch my my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. I found this one. Make yourself a priority. Um, priority. 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 Pri the priority. Yeah. The the T becomes an R in English. Priority. Okay. Priority. Yeah, I like this this phrase, and I I agree a, a lot with it because first you have to be uh, you have to feel good and you have to be uh, happy with yourself before you 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 before you do anything. For example, before. It, for, for you to do something good at your work, uh, for you to be good with your family, first you have to be, uh, you have to feel good by, with yourself. Um, so this is why I, I like this phrase. Almost a minute. That, okay. Uh, so we have to talk for a minute about this. Yes. But it's okay if you don't have more, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Um, it's a very good phrase. Make yourself a priority. I like that one. Yeah, it's true. If, if you're not good with yourself first, then how are you going to make others happy, right? So you have to be good with yourself before thinking of other people and that's true yeah and that's a very good example that's a very good phrase i like it mm -hmm. thank you anybody else has a phrase you want to share yes i'm okay. ready now okay good Teddy. if you want to share yeah i'm gonna share the screen just uh, okay I found two phrases that, that I liked a lot. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. The, the first one is free yourself, and the second one is if only. Uh, I like free yourself because I, I always believe that um, no one and nothing can. Uh, 
um, put you in a box or in a stereotype. I mean, um, I, know, I, I don't know who, who is the one illuminated that can say that this is beauty, this is ugly, you have to be skinny to be beautiful, you have to be tall, you have to be, I don't know. I, I, I think that you understand what, I, what, what is my point, my point. For yourself, you have to do what you have to do, what you are inside. You have to light up and write when for yourself. And nobody can tell you you are ugly, you are pretty, you are beauty. No, that's the way you grow up. God made you unique because there is nobody like you in the world. And uh, unfortunately, some of us uh, grow and still being unique. And the, the other word that I, that I, the other quote that I choose is if only. We just have one life and we are not getting alive with about this. When this finish is finished and we're, we're dead and we're going to be the, to the heaven if, we're, if we believe in God. But if only, it's only a word that for pessimist dies for pessimist people because they are not um, complete or they are not uh, mm, how can I say they are not happy with, with their own decisions or, or the path they took in, in, in its life if only it's not a phrase that we have to, to use because if you, if you have to, to do something do it never mind what Jose, Maria Ricardo, whatever, another people can say about it. If you have to do it, do it. Don't, don't, don't be expecting that if somebody will like it or not. That's, that's all my phrases. Okay, great. Wow, you had two. That was good. Um, for yourself, I like that one. That's a very interesting one. Um, and it's true. You have to be yourself. You have to believe that you can do it, right? You always have to believe that you can do it and just follow your dreams and go with them. And if you're gonna make mistakes, well, be a risk taker. Mistakes, nobody's perfect, right? So I guess we're, in our culture, we're very, um, we're scared. We're scared of, of what others might say if we fail. But if, if we do so, then we stand up and, and try it again in a different way. So, you know, it, it, it's going to happen. We're not perfect. So I really like that one. And if only it's true, I, I even sometimes I'm, I'm, you know, that I love the search, right? And I was, I was thinking about this just today. If only I had a toco banano, if there, if only there was a toco banano place open today. So you stay with that, but I didn't go out and look for it because I had to stay home. But I was thinking if only I, I didn't take that risk to actually go and check out if there was a toco banano place open because I really wanted to, I was craving, having cravings for toco bananos today. But it happens in a real life too, right? If only I had this, if, I, if only I had more time, if only I had this amount of money, if only, so what would have happened if? So we have that if always in our lives, so it's true. Sometimes we just don't take that decision to actually do things on the spot or on the moment. So thank you very much, that was a good one. Exactly, exactly. That's, that's my point. When, uh, when, you were, when we were younger, at least uh, the man, the, the other men will will be agree with me. When we were younger and, and we like a, a girl, we sometimes we never talk about with her because we are too scared about it. Exactly. Because we know that she's gonna let you let us down, or he turn us and, and, and say goodbye or something. And reject but yourself. A, yeah, I reject a, you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I reject a rejection. And after after years pass. We just remember, ah oh, man, if I only talk with said this or if I only had done this. Yeah. Exactly. True. That's, that's for point. decisions, for life, for love, for everything. It's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would have happened if? Uh huh. If only I yeah. Very good, Sadie. Thank you for sharing. Thanks. Anybody else who wants to share? No? Okay, well, if I don't have 
if I don't have anybody else, I'm gonna run into our next activity because time's running up. And yesterday we were talking about the best jobs, I think, right? Remind me, I don't remember, the best jobs around the world? Yes, Dream. yes, the Dream best jobs. jobs. Yeah, and the red panda. Yes, the red panda. <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking, care of, taking care of pandas and being, yes. you know, running, testing Mercedes Benz and Bulgatis and, you know, and being, um, taking care of, of what? Taking care of a private yeah. island. Yeah. So I remember we, we had, um, we were talking a little bit about that yesterday. So just just for everybody else to be on on, so we were talking about working for Disney, right? Or yes. giving cuddle cuddling. to people, or taking care of an island, or chocolate testers, or chocolate engineers, Netflix professional watchers, or Google Maps, and slide testers, right? Or, but that was yesterday. Now. I was thinking, how can I invert that? So today you have an activity. Right now, I want you to look for an image on Google and I want you to tell me, yesterday you talked about your favorite job and your dream job. Now I want you to tell me, based on the examples that you find, of course, on St. Google, of what would be the worst job you could ever think of, of in, in the world of having. So I, I don't tell me your, your answer yet, Look for the image first and then project it, share it with us and tell us, okay? I'll give you like one or two minutes right now to look for the image and tell me, you know what, bad? this is like the worst job that somebody can have. And I wouldn't really like to have it because I am phobic of spiders. I don't know, like being a spider biologist or something like that. I mean, something that you wouldn't really like doing as a job, okay? So I want you to go and broaden your horizons because all the careers and okay. all the professions and all the occupations and all the jobs exist out there. Some are good, fabulous, amazing, but then we have the dark side. Some of them are not really yeah. good. So I'll give you like two minutes to go ahead and start looking for them because I already have my top 10 list. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. And if you're ready, start projecting. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. That way you stop, you guys mm -hmm. start projecting. I'm sorry, we have to, to, to share our 10th top. No, jobs. only one, only one. I have a 10th top one. list. Only share one job that you really would dislike or hate doing. Dislike. Like what would be, in your opinion, for you, what would be the worst job around the world? Like who has the worst, I, worst job ever? I have But no. only one example. Okay, go ahead and share. Yes. It's the worst, worst job. <laughs> I hate this. No, not because I, I know that there, there might be worse jobs. But for me, telemarketer, uh, because I don't like when I offer something and someone tells me, uh, of me no i don't want thank you even if you are my friend and i um offer you a coffee a chocolate at the, <laughs> the middle of my bread a piece of my bread mm -hmm. and you say no thanks i i feel so i think that if i have to call people that i don't know and have to sell then something and all the people have you know all the people send me say me no tell me uh, tell me no i feel uh, this um get me upset and sad mm -hmm. i don't like the no's 
So is the, the work work the worst work job for you? you. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever worked in a call center or with a call center related? Do you have people no. working that you know? Okay. okay. Never. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I've worked in call centers for half of my life, maybe as, as I've been a teacher too. And to be honest with you, yes, I have had students in the past that actually cry. Some people throw up, some people cry. Because it's not the same talking to somebody in El Salvador than talking to people in the U.S., where they start cursing at you, they hang up the phone, you know, yeah. sometimes calls take longer than expected. So it's not what you say, but it's how you say. It's all about that, you know. You know, even in El Salvador, I, I know, I, I don't know if it's because I have that call center experience, but I know I have like my checklist. Every time I call Pollo Campero, it has happened to me that I'm like, this is a new guy. I, I can tell, <laughs> like, when that guy, and I'm like, oh, my God, I have to be, and, I, and I'm very patient because I have worked in the industry before, so I do understand how, how they feel. Like, So you said you want three pieces or two pieces? You want a salary? You want great? I mean, so it's, it's interesting. You know that it's they, their first time, their first week. Yeah, working in for using for the very first time that software oh, oh. and then do uh, the pain control of the thing. <laughs> Yeah, you can actually tell. So, yeah. So I totally understand. And it can be frustrating, but that's what they have to do. I mean, they get a list and they have to call people and, and try to go for it. Whether it's sales, go for it and try to convince people of buying a product or insisting on, hey, go ahead and pay your bill. Or, you know, so it's, it's more like a job, but yeah. And it's back to back. So they must be, you know, call after call after call. So some people, especially if you're not used to this, imagine being in quarantine. Yeah. We're inside a room and we cannot go out. So it's pretty much the same for them. For 10, it's, for 10 long hours, they have to be there taking calls and, you know, all around surrounded by walls. They can, don't, sometimes they don't even know what time it is. They just lose track of time and lunch and, you know, it's, it's yeah, so it's back to back. So it must be a little bit one of the worst Bro, jobs. Yeah. <laughs> Hectic jobs. Very good, Fatima. Anybody else wants to share one of the worst jobs around the world? Anybody else? No. no? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Share. And share your screen. Mm. Okay. Um, or just tell us, and we can. I can look it up if you want. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes. Uh, how do you say? How do you say, Sari? I'm sorry. Veterinarian, I guess. Good. Veterinarian. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, okay. I think sometimes it could be the worst because uh, instead, I, it doesn't mean because I, I don't like animals, but sometimes uh, when, you, when the veterinarian has to do this it's um that's what i'm talking about let me let me see uh where are you? here you are yeah but this uh let me share the the, the screen please mm -hmm. when they when they have to inseminate the the cows uh, a uh, little bit yikes mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not talking about the surgery that they have to do to, to the dogs, or cats, or any other type of animals. But that time, in, in, in fact, they, when they have to inseminate uh, some cows or horses or, I don't know, that's pretty yikes. And actually, and thank you for bringing that up. That's, a, that's actually a job. It's different from a vet. Um, we'll, we're going to see it in part of my list. It's actually one of the 10 worst jobs in the world. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, people that actually have to not only inseminate other animals, but they have to do those, you know, take, take out things from the animals, etc. So it's like one of the worst, according. And you have to have a lot of experience and a lot of strength in your hands because dealing with horses, cows, hippopotamus, imagine all the sorts of animals you can think of, right? Heavy animals too. So yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sadie. Okay. Mm 
Anybody else has another job that considers the worst in the world? Job ever? Worst job ever in the world? Yeah, I was looking on, on Google and I found this one. Okay. Um, can I'm going to this one. Oh. Arm, armpit <laughs> sniffing. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually part of the ten very good. Thank you for finding that's actually one of my ten worst. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, it says here that some some brands of the say the the deodorant. Deodorant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they have workers that uh, smell the, the armpits to check. If it's an effective deodorant. <laughs> the yeah. protection product does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, that's really and they get paid for that. I mean, it's yeah, one of the worst. Yeah, they get paid. They, and they get paid. You know, one of actually the worst jobs around the world are the ones who actually get. <gasps> Imagine. Yeah, you, you get paid from nineteen hundred to fifty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> and annually, imagine divide that by twelve, right? How much is it? It's not that yeah. bad. I mean, it's not. It's not that bad. But yeah, it takes. You know, they have to do it. There's like, you know, there needs to be somebody who actually tests if the deodorant works or not, or like the lotions yeah. or no, I right? Uh -huh. I can't imagine it. <laughs> I see a lot of elder people. I wonder why. Not elder, but yeah, sort of on the picture. I don't know if it's a real picture or not, but yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. The, 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 other, was, the other work that I, that I found was the, the second one on the page that Ricardo shared, uh, huh? doing cleaning. Which one, Tani? Can you write it? Uh, sewing cleaning the pipes. Uh -huh. That was. We're gonna. That's the, the other. You know what? So when well, I think that not everybody knows what a sewer is, but I'll show you in the list right now. Is this? Can you share it? Yeah. By the way, that's this a sewer. Is uh, this is, this and, is media. and they actually get paid five dollars a day for doing that. And there's this guy in Mexico. I, I was reading about this guy in Mexico that actually dives into it. He was, he's a, he's a diver. He actually has his own suit to actually go into the, the door. Yeah. Let me write it down for everybody to actually, sewer, sewer, I'm sorry. I always say door. Sewer. Yeah, sewer. When I saw it, when I saw this word the first time, I thought it was, you know, from so. But it's actually alcantarilla, mm -hmm. and the whole, the round thing on top of the sewer, it's called a manhole. Do you know what? I think I've, I've I mentioned this before. A manhole. Yeah, manhole. Which is the tapadera? It's a manhole, and it's mm -hmm. called a hole with because it's one man. It's the only person that can actually go down. A manhole. Yeah, this is a one of the worst. Another, um, see. Yeah. You have to dive in the, in the, in the into the, the sewer. Yeah. And, well, imagine the rest. <laughs> Thank you, Sadie. Anybody else has any other image they want to share? David or Edis or Marisol. No. Okay, well, let me go into my list then. Okay, I'm going to go into my list. Uh, let me see here. Um, I'm going to share a computer sound because we're going to go. Then again, going with my favorite YouTuber that shows us fun facts. I, he came up with the 10 worst jobs around the world. So we're going to start one by one just for you to have an idea. Often complaining about their nine to five, but if you think your job is a nightmare, wait until you hear about these career paths that actually exist that were ranked as the most depressing jobs out there. Keep watching, it might just make you appreciate what you have. These are the 10 worst jobs in the world. 
Number one is fertilizer inspector. Don't you just hate dealing with all the crap at your job? Well, if you're employed as a fertilizer inspector, you definitely do. You know, un unless you're into poop or something. That's just weird. Imagine that's the first one, a fertilizer. You know that fertilizer actually it's like cows necessities, right? Or animals, that's a horse and all sorts of animals necessities that's what they use for fertilizing crops and all the rest right so imagine being a tester disgusting the number two. that's actually the first one on the list Fertilizer inspectors do exactly what their name suggests. They analyze and report on the quality and safeness of different poop. Good quality manure speeds up crop development and ensures farmers are growing healthy produce. That is, unless the manure used is full of disease, bacteria, or fungus. This is where a trusty inspector comes in. They literally sift through manure, making sure it's clean and of high quality. Fertilizer inspectors earn around 35 thousand dollars a year but that number can actually be a lot higher in some places especially if they're employed in a lab determining the impact of animal treatment and feeding on manure excellence in other words treat the animals nicely you get good poop number two is a sewer cleaner speaking of having crappy days have you ever thought about because so that's what what daddy was actually sharing with us like this being yes. a sewer a sewer cleaner so some are different like this one you know like in london they're usually like tunnels right in, in the uk so imagine cleaning them for a living coming a in sewer cleaner image, just think in that, in that image he has an equipment mm -hmm. but in other countries no in, in india the, uh -huh, the in india they don't have an uh, protection equipment Exactly, Nothing. the, the uh -huh. whole equipment that we have, that they yeah. have is the hands. <laughs> yes. Imagine, and I saw this one then again in Mexico, there's only one guy that actually dives. He has a, you know, a suit, a special suit to actually dive mm -hmm. uh, through the, mm -hmm. through the sewer. So yeah, and, and it's really sad how they pay $5 a day to this yeah. person in India to clean them with no equipment. Mm -hmm. Think of the benefits. It, I'm sure they exist. Sewage cleaners are a necessity, obviously, so be thankful that there are brave, and I do mean brave, individuals out there willing to wade through ones and twos to make sure everything finds its way down the right pipes and away from your house. And an even bigger thank you should go to the cleaners in India who, for five bucks a day and a bottle of liquor, because I'm sure they need it, brave the sewers that are so dangerous, over 1,000 people have lost their lives doing it. In Mexico City, there's one heroic sewer worker, Julio Cucamera, who literally dives into the sewage to unblock drains. <laughs> he claims he's found car parts, furniture, guns, pigs, horses, and even a refrigerator down in the tunnel when I saw it the first time, I was like surprised. How yeah. can you, how can you find big animals and even car parts? Well, car parts maybe, but a refrigerator, refrigerator. inside of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. odd. Yeah. With no idea how they even got there. Number three is Buckingham Palace guard. Stepping away from poop for a moment, we may. What do you think about this job being a Buckingham Palace guard? Standing for mm. I don't know how many hours yes. without smiling. They, without they can yes, they can smile. They can talk. They they don't they can't do anything. Imagine and yes, so difficult. <laughs> One of the, yeah, that's why it's considered one of the worst jobs. Yeah. Being palace guards just standing around looking funny with their big furry hats is easy work, but it's widely considered one of the absolute worst jobs in the British Army. The tough part of the job may be just how boring it is, as even top military personnel call it ominous and repetitive. Guards must stand motionless for hours upon hours, while tourists snap photos and try to make them smile or move 
move by making faces, telling jokes, trying to touch them, and overall just being dumb. And if they get a cramp or itch, all that they can do is march away from their post temporarily, hoping that the wind or movement can take care of it. And to add to the ridiculously long days of utter torment, Buckingham Palace guards must have their uniforms immaculate, clean, and wrinkle-free. Anything less than perfection and the guards are punished with more guard duty. I want to end my life. Number four is Mosquito Researcher. One of the most annoying things about the warmer months of the year is dealing with mosquitoes. Those little jerks steal your blood and leave you with itchy bumps for days. So who in their right mind would ever willingly put themselves on the menu? The so Martin, would you do that? No, you know that I, I don't know if, if it's my pH or what, but I'm easily the mosquitoes, <laughs> easily um, me, look for you. It may look for me. And I, I don't know why, really. I don't Same know. Same here. Why. And I actually have, yes. I, I wanted to share, uh -huh. I actually have this here with me. I was like, yes. I was like, here, they actually look for me all the time, and I don't know what to do, right? Like, yeah. I, I, I usually have this with me because they, I don't know, imagine doing this as a, for a job? No. Being a mos and it's called mosquito researcher. So you just put there. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Answer is the mosquito researcher. This brave soul actually allows his or herself to become an all-you-can-drink buffet for these tiny oh, insects holding their bare arms inside a mosquito habitat as they receive hundreds or even thousands of bites. And all in the name of science. Millions of people are infected with illnesses or conditions like malaria or... Looking at this video, I wanted to bring oh, no. up something that we talked about in the past. Remember that we were talking about strange customs. Do you remember that? The other day, we were talking about bizarre customs around the world. And there was this place in the Amazon where they had to put their, their hands inside uh, bags and the ants would actually stink them for 20, you know, 20 times. Remember we spoke no. about that? In one of the classes, do you guys recall? No, yes, no. no. Maybe no? Not much. No much? Okay, so we were talking about, you. there were like strange customs around the world. So in, in the Amazons, kids, to turn into adults or to turn into men, they had to put their hands inside bags where bullet ants would mm. actually stink, you know, uh, stink them for 20 times. So they had to put them out, dance, and then 20 times and to be brave enough to actually support that. I didn't believe it, and I actually lo looked for a video of someone who actually went there and experienced it, and this person only placed his hands inside once. You have no idea. I saw the pain. It was like for two hours. He ended up in the hospital because oh, no. the bullet ants are like the worst ants around the world. Like They, they have a lot of, it's like, they say the, the pain is like 30 times bigger than a stink of um, a bee sting. So, you know, imagine the pain. So he had fever, he was screaming, you know, it's crazy. I'll, I'll try to see if I, I can share the. So I thought this is, must be a crazy custom. And so I looked for the customs. I actually, I do my research before projecting something. I actually look for the videos if actually exist or they're just making it up. Um, so I actually, uh, you know, found out that they were, uh, some of them were like real. So I was like, oh my God. And I was really surprised now that I see this, this guy's hand, you know, it's crazy. The pain that you can actually feel by ants or, or mosquitoes even. Mm. Or the Zika virus that are contracted from insect bites every year. And having a better understanding of how these creatures spread those diseases is a big first step in combating them. But still, letting insects drink your insides is icky. Number five is a roadkill handler. What's for dinner, Grandma? Oh, well, you know. Would you like to be a road killer? So this is a person that actually picks up, this is a team that actually pick up dead bodies of all sorts of animals from the roads. You know, oh, cows, deer. That's so sad. No, I can't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it as well, you know. No. It's a very, wow. so that's why it's considered one of the worst jobs because imagine sometimes that the, the dead bodies of the animals are rotten already. Yes, no. Actually, actually here in El Salvador, 
in the El Salvador International Airport before they, they create the, the fauna section, some guys on, on, on the ramp of ramp officers, they have to go to the runway and clean when some wolves cross the runway when the aircraft were landing or taking off and they um, they're ripping off for 20, 30 meters and they had to go to their to the runway and start mm -hmm. to cleaning the whole parts of the of the, mm. of the horses. Horses. So you can actually yeah. and what type they, of animals do actually have been killed there? Like what type of animals? Wolves, oh, yeah. deers, something like that. I know. The, plane, the aircraft, the aircraft uh, crash on them, and uh, they. Uh, I don't know, say how to say in, in Spanish, lo destruían. Yeah, they tear them apart. Oh. They uh -huh. tear them apart. They tear them. They disintegrate them. Uh, Y de, y lo esparcían por alrededor de qué quiero ver cuál es el número 25 30 40 entre 35 y 45 metros en, en la pista. Oh, I know. Yeah, but y, obviously y, they can. And, and then then they have to go to the runway and, and, and clean it because there is there can't be anything on the runway because it's a risk for the aircraft, right? Yeah. For, for is there something that is there anything, I'm, because I'm thinking, is there anything you can do to avoid animals just trespassing? Well, I mean, because it's an open, I know it's an open place from the, where the, the, where the runway is, there's like a lot of trees and there's like a lot of, uh, you know, vegetation around, but is there a way that you can actually avoid this from happening? Like, is there a way to I keep they, them away? They, 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 cre they created the, the fauna section. So they, the, the job that this guy has is going to the to the forest that is uh, in the other side of the runway and prevent to all these kind of uh, animals Situations come and yeah, cross. The only, yeah. the only thing that, that they can't uh, avoid okay. is the birds, on, yeah. on the birds on the airport. But uh, they try, they try because you know if the if any bird impact an aircraft, it's going to be a High risk operation. Of course. Where you see solely the miracle on the, Sully. the river. Sully, uh -huh, huh? Sully. Uh -huh. The movie. Have you guys the, seen that movie about impact. the about the airplane that actually landed on the Hudson River based on a true story? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, that that was a bird strike. It's on Netflix, I recommend. It's really good. It's based on okay. a true event. It's how actually this pilot landed on the Hudson River because of bird birds crashed with Price. the two, right? They, the in, birds in crashed. The mm -hmm. Okay. So it's with crashed. Tom Hanks, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's the one okay. representing Sully, uh -huh. okay. the pilot. Based on a true story, and at the end you can actually see who the pilot is and all the passengers, because he actually saved all the passengers, based on a true event that ha happened a yeah. couple of, of years ago at in New York. Yeah, mm -hmm. wow. So this is one of the, we're running out of time, so I'm not going to be able to play all of it, but this is like actually, so for you to have an idea, one of the worst jobs, so it's, it's eye opening, right? We have to like really be grateful for the job we have because some people just don't have any other choice. They need the job and they have, sometimes they have to do this type of jobs, not because they really like it, but because they really need it, right? Yes. yes. So I'll be sharing the video that way in case you guys are interested in finishing watching it, then I'll, you guys go ahead and do it okay guys so thank you so much for connecting today um hopefully if we can connect a uh, friday i'll let you know in case they tell me to to actually uh, so we can retake the class from yesterday unfortunately for some reason something happened and i wasn't able to record it and if it's not uploaded on youtube in so forth believes that we didn't have that class so it doesn't exist um if somebody has it, that would be great. If not, we're gonna have to maybe do that, have that class on Friday, but I'll let you know, okay, guys? But thank you so much for connecting okay. today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place.
Thank you. Okay. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Blessings. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.